Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be reviewing the OPPSK wall washer. So this light, I feel like is a game changer. This thing is super special. I mean, I was just casually browsing Amazon and then I saw this and I knew I just wanted to try it out. You know, I'm not being paid to do this. I wasn't shipped this product for free. This is a product I was just genuinely curious about. And so I reached out to my local community and my friend Gavin at UB the DJ. He lent me four of these to try out and I'm super excited. And if you ever find yourself gigging in Utah, these guys can take care of your audio and lighting needs. This is probably the most affordable way to achieve the modern DJ look with the neon tube aesthetic. In fact, I used this setup in one of my recent TikToks and I've had several DJs reach out to me and ask whether these were the Asteras or the Ape Labs, which just goes to show you that the effect is very similar. The only difference being is one is a lot easier to set up, but one is a lot more cost effective. And see, so this thing can get a lot brighter but I feel like this is going to be too distracting for my video if it's at this bright. So I'm going to lower it and dim it a little bit. Pixel mapping is like the new buzzword for mobile DJ lights. And this thing is pixel mappable. It has 244 LEDs and it's diffused. So it gives you this homogenized look with no color separation. It just looks really smooth and it's 60 watts so this thing can get really bright and really light up your room or your crowd and you can also dim it just to be more of an eye candy pixel effect like i'm doing right now and this thing is just incredible value you know and you don't have to control it through dmx i'm just happening to use sound switch you can use any dmx software and you can also control this with no dmx software at all there's some auto modes there's sound active modes master slave mode and there's several DMX profiles to choose from. 3, 5, 8, 24, 48, and 53 channel mode. And this is on 53 channel mode. And it's facing from a stage. This will look identical to a tube light. And then on the side here, you can see there's the OPPSK logo. And something I thought was interesting compared to other bar lights I've had. On the back, there isn't anything. But if you look to the other side, this is where you get all the controls. So this is your control panel. You have a spot for your IAC cable. You have a spot for your three pin DMX and also to plug something else in if you want to like daisy chain these things. It comes with these like adjustable brackets that can like move around and put any sort of mounting hardware you want on them. There's one on either side. So it's like Daryl, these lights look great, but like what is the catch? And there really isn't a catch. I always like to think that there's a triangle between convenience, affordability, and functionality. Like the Asteras or the Chauve Well Sticks, they're definitely very convenient, they're very easy to use, and they're very functional, but they're not affordable. They're super expensive. And so this guy is definitely very functional. I mean, it has 16 controllable zones. It's awesome. It looks fantastic but it's not as convenient, you know? You have to plug it into the wall, there's no battery, and there's no wireless built-in DMX. You have to put in a Donner dongle in there or just plug in to a DMX cable like I have here. And you know, I think for a lot of people, that's okay. Especially if you are just gonna be displaying these next to your DJ setup. I mean, the Asteras are super convenient because you can just place them around the venue and they're just battery operated, wirelessly operated, no cables, so they're just super flexible. And these you'd have to put a little bit more thought in where you put them, make sure it's next to an outlet. I know a lot of people want to get into the pixel tube aesthetic, but it's really cost prohibitive. But this is a game changer. Now you can achieve the modern DJ look for a fraction of the cost. These are only about $100 a piece. So for the price of like eight Asteras at $4,500, you can get 40 of these. Check them out buy two, buy four, buy eight. You know, I even thought about buying 16 of these so I can recreate the iconic sound switch demo they did with the DJ S key. I mean, yeah, he has 16 Chauvet buttons and those things are a lot more expensive. So you can recreate that look for like only like one fourth of the cost. And that's pretty cool. So Rockville makes a nice bag that you can use to carry a couple of these guys. Rockville has some of their own bar lights, but none of them with that diffuse filter that gives it that tube aesthetic. 
But yeah, so this Rockville case, it's really nice. It fits two of them. It fits them in nice and snug. I can have like the mounting brackets and I can fit cables if I need to in there. So I have a link for these in the description below as well. All right, well, I guess this is probably the part where I demo them. I'm just showing you a few of the built-in preset slash patterns. You can access these through sound active mode or auto mode if you're looking for a plug and play experience. You can also select a preset and control the speed with DMX as well, which is what I'm doing. All of the fixtures are using the same address. I have a simple sound switch show with 32 auto loops for these lights that I will put on my website that you can purchase. I'm using the 53 channel mode because I can select presets as well as do custom programming in each of the 16 mappable zones. It's worth noting that it has two stacks of eight rather than 16 consecutive zones. Well, I hope you found this review helpful. So please help this channel grow by smashing like and subscribing. And I will see you in the next video.